family, big up on yourself. I enjoy this, and if you ever did want to watch American football, but not understand what I'm going, that's a fault. An easy game for understand. American football come in like every other game, and the object of an outscore your opponent in a certain amount of time. Then play the game on a football field about 100 yards long. And you see, at both ends of the field, they have a 10 yard section where they call the end zone and two goal posts. But we soon talk about that. So, they mark the yards on the field and they count up from 10 yards to 50 yards. So, 50 yards are what they call midfield. And then the number them start count back down. So, once you cross midfield, you will know how far you're from your opponent goal line. So the 40, the 30, the 20, and the 10. Them way there. And the goal line of the line you have to cross if you're going to the end zone for score points. All right, so a three way you can score points in American football. And the main way, if you either run the ball in the end zone or throw it to somebody upon your team in the end zone for what them call a touchdown. Now, a touchdown I will give you six points. And after you score a touchdown, you can either kick your ball through your goal post for an extra point, or you can get another touchdown from the goal line for two points, and then call that the two-point conversion. But most people just settle for the extra point, unless the game almost done, and they might lose. Then they will try for a two-point conversion. The second way you can score, if you're the close enough, you kick your ball through your goal post, then call that in a field goal range. Because if you know it's on the drive you do, you now get the touchdown, you're going to settle for a field goal. But you only get three points for that though, if you score. But we talk about that little later too. The third way you can score points on the field. Uh, if you have the ball in a few end zone and you're the all the way back and the defense tackle you in the end zone, then the defense are gonna score two points and then call it a safety. And that's one of the worst things that can happen to our offense. Alright, so we could talk about when the game starts. The captain then flip a coin for see who I'll go first, right? And uh, whoever win the toss. Them can either choose to kick your ball first to their opponent, or their opponent can kick your ball to them. So whoever kick your ball first after halftime, or the other team get to kick off the ball. In a regular football, we have two 45 minute half, and then them add an extra time for like stoppage, and the clock continues so it not stop. But in American football, them have four 15 minute quarter, and the clock not continues. So it can stop for a whole heap of different things, and the teams them can use it to them advantage. But we talk about that too. So a team them just like regular football. I live them on a side at any given time, see? But them can switch around for make up different squads. So the man them where I play offense might be different from the man them where I play defense because them have a different skill set. So make we look at how the team them set up. So for your offense, I'm a brother who you call it quarterback. And I him are the leader of the team. So I him call it play them and decide how I'll get the ball. Right? Then you have two running back, what they call the full back and the half back, where at them mostly take your ball from the quarterback and run with it. Then you have a wide receiver them where them run down field and then the quarterback now throw a ball go get them. Then you have the offensive line. So when the play start, at them have to build a wall to protect the quarterback so he not get hurt and them have time to get the ball where it need to go. So the space where they make behind the wall. For the quarterback, then call it the pocket. So when you hear them say the quarterback have a whole heap of time in a pocket, I that they matter about. So the people that will make up the line now, you have the center, where you have him in the middle, and then you have a guard on each side of him, and then you have two tackle forward of the people and where I try to get through the wall, and then you have a tight end where him sometimes act as a linebacker or sometimes as a receiver. But we talk about that. Now, for the defense, them have a man that they middle with them called the middle linebacker. Then them have two tackle on each side of him. Then them have two ends on each side of him. And then them have two outside linebackers on each side of them, right? Then you have two cornerbacks now where when the receiver them start running down the field, I them follow them down the field for make sure they so prevent them from catching the ball. And then you have two safety in the back of them in the backfield for just in case anything them can help out if anything so that's how the offense and the defense set up so now if you start the game the team will kick off first kick the ball from feed them end zone to the receiving team end zone so if the ball go out of bounds 
back of the receiving team end zone, them are going to move up the ball and them spot it on the 30-yard line. And that's where them start from. Then call it a touchback. If the receiver catch the ball in them end zone and no one run the ball, then can take a knee and down the ball. And then them will move up to the 30-yard line to start the game. Or if them catch it outside of the end zone, them have to run it to see how much yard them can pick up before the defense tackle them. Once the game starts, you're going to notice that the clock will count down till it stop. So the team will run the offense, I got have the ball. So which part of the play start, them call that the line of scrimmage. So you will notice one blue line on your TV when you watch, that's what I mean. And then them have four chance now to move the ball 10 yards. So you will see a yellow line on your TV where I show you how far the ball have to go. If them clear 10 yards or more in the four chance of them get, then get four more chance. So every time they clear 10 yards, then get four more chance. So then call the chance them downs. So for every first play, you're going to see it say first and 10. That just means say, them have four chance or four downs to try to clear 10 yards. So if on the first play, they move the ball five yards and the defense tackle them, the next down you have to clear five because they clear five already. So you're going to see it say second and five. Till they make up 10 yards and get four fresh chance or downs for moving ball forward. So when you hear the commentator, they must say, Ah, oh, he just picked up another first down. That means they then get four more chance for move the ball forward. If they make it all the way to the fourth down and they can't clear the 10 yards and then they're too far to kick a field goal for three points, then what they might do? They might kick away ball so they can push the other team from fit them end zone and try to stop them further down the field. Them call it a punt. So them punt the ball for back up the other team. Cause if them try to make a play upon the fourth down and them not do it, the other team will get the ball right which part they couldn't do it. And you don't want that. So then call that turnover and downs. So if you're upon the fourth down and you go for your play and it not work, that's where the team will get the ball from. One of the biggest accomplishments for your defense if them can tackle the quarterback before we can get rid of the ball. And anytime that happen, them call it a quarterback sack. And any way them bring down the quarterback, a this of them are going to spot the ball. And the offense usually are going to lose yards when that happen. So, if you penalty them now, if you depend on the offense, they are going to move them back and add yardage to the play. So, a five-yard penalty on a first and ten, I'm going to make the next play first and fifteen, because they usually replay the first down. A penalty upon the defense are going to move the ball forward. So if them did up on second and five and them get a 10-yard penalty, it are going to move them forward and give them an automatic first down. So we who the home and watch TV can't see line them on the field. But few people them who they on the field, them can't see no line. So if you see how far they have to run for pick up a first down, them have two brothers on the sideline. We have them 10-yard chain here. So when you hear them say they have move the chains, what that they mean? The team pick up a first down and then they move the chains down the field. When a team punt the ball, see, the receiver have two choices. He can catch the ball and run if he pick up as much yard as he can get or he can wave for a fair catch. But if he call for a fair catch, then he can't touch him, but he can't move. So they have to spot the ball right which part him catch it. And then him team offense now, all right, that's how they're going to start. All right, so we just run through the basics still. So... If you're still interested after the video, we can get more in a detail about how the strategy them and the formation them and thing work and how they call the play them and them thing there. But if you keep track of what go on, pay attention to this. Pay attention to the score of the team them. Then it will show the team record right here. So like how much them win first and then how much them lose. So if you see a team where four and all, that means that they win four games and they lose none. If you see two and two, that means that they win two and lose two. It's going to show you the game clock. And the small clock next to the game clock and the play clock that. So that's how much time the offense have to make a play. If the clock run out upon them, they might get called for a delay a game and that's one penalty. It's going to tell you what quarter you're in, what down them depth on, and them thing there. It's a whole heap of information this still, so we're going to leave it to so. But let me know in the comment them want to think and if the interest is there, we will make additional videos, but if not, at the basics that. So let me know. And yo, big up on yourself, man. Bless up.